to prevent a lot of this crime. He's working hard, and right now he's working overtime because of all the stuff that's going on in the city of Columbia. Like the sheriff said, you guys are, you, you are the answer. Everybody looks around to see who's gonna come. You are the answer. My next guest speaker is gonna be Chief Holbrook of the City of Columbia Police Department, a good friend, awesome, awesome law enforcement officer, and an awesome leader. We thank him for coming, Chief. Thanks, Mr. Trezvant, and uh, thank you, uh, Project Unity, for what you're doing in our community today. Uh, Pastor, uh, that was a powerful prayer. You said it. Uh, three numbers for y'all to think about this morning. 59, 8, 2,500. 59 people have been shot in our community so far this year. Eight have lost their life. 2,500, 2,500 is, we've had over 2,500 rounds of bullets fired in our neighborhoods just in seven square miles of our city. Think about the carnage and the disruption and the fear that comes with that. Most of our offenders and victims are young adults. We're losing a generation to violent crime and specifically gunfire. So my charge to, uh, this group, your voice is powerful, your actions are powerful. We, law enforcement, will not solve this problem alone. This is a community problem. Um, this is a, a problem where we need our faith community. We need cover from our faith leaders. Um, we need our neighborhood leaders, um, our adults that can mentor these young, young children that need um, a positive influence. Um, we've got to be responsible with gun ownership. Um, this conversation has never been an indictment on um, whether you should be able to carry a gun or not. Um, we certainly support that. Um, we, res we support responsible gun ownership. Um, but we've got to own this problem as a community. Um, we've got to lock our cars, store our guns properly so they don't fall into the hands of the wrong people or children. And we've got to own it, shared responsibility. And I, I know we can make a difference. We're at the tipping point, folks. We are losing a generation. There's not a night that goes by um, that I don't get a phone call from our officers in the field. Somebody has been shot at or hit. And uh, Sheriff Lott will tell you the same thing. We can make a difference. And it starts with events just like this and people just like you that are taking personal personal ownership and responsibility to the problem. Thank you so much for what you're doing. Um, God bless.